<laughs> All right, uh, greetings, family. This is uh, Bomani Tamba, and our company is called Africa for the Africans. And literally, just like two months before I met David, that's when we started in October of 2006, and I physically met David in December of 2006. Uh, so it was uh, it's, it goes all the way back to uh, it's not uh, if you look at the dates, it's not exactly 17 years, but this is our 17th uh, year uh, in business and. We started in Ghana, taking brothers and sisters from America, from the Americas, to our Ghana, and that was uh, the foundation of where we started building the Roots and Culture Tour. But even before that, I spent two years traveling to five other African countries just to get a feel of Africa. You know, I was in uh, Senegal and also uh, Egypt in 2004. Then I ended up going to uh, Gambia and South Africa. I should say uh, South Africa and Kenya in 2005, and then the Gambia in 2006, and Ghana was the other country, so those are the six countries. And I really like the program as far as Ghana, as far as uh, the, the, the connection with uh, you know, black people in the Americas, and that is a, you know, a foundation built, a Kwame Nkrumah built by the energy of Marcus Garvey, and so it was a connection that people like myself that were studying uh, in the Pan-African world literally just felt that this was a place where we could just build that connection. So once I got here to Ghana uh, in December 2006, uh, you know, I met David and I just, I just love his energy. And uh, he started showing me the books that he's writing and things like that. And you know, we really connected and we literally just been, been just really cool and connected from that day, from that time frame as far as December 2006 all the way to now. So when we first met, uh, we had, we, had a, we had a kind of conference networking setup. Even though we didn't physically met, me and him was already working on, on this setup. So we, we, our group of eight of us, including myself, met with David and a few other people, uh, a, few, a few other Pan-African energy, and we literally started right there in that restaurant, and that was uh, Brother Keely's restaurant, yes, right? Yes, restaurant, yes. Uh, yes. So, uh, and that was in Kaswa, and that's where you said that, right, Kaswa? Kaswa, I mean, I moved from the city back to the, back to the uh, forest. Uh, so just in that small restaurant, uh, we just built that energy. And you know, the only way you can build a program like this, you have to have good people on the ground in the specific African countries. And uh, as far as the good people I'm talking, specifically the brothers and sisters who are repatriated from uh, the Americas and also uh, certain local or indigenous or native people, and people use a different terminology. Uh, so you're looking to just basically in general just get a solid group of uh, good brothers and sisters so we can literally build a relationship, build an energy, and build a program. And you know, sometimes when you try to build things like this, uh, you gotta keep selling your dream. But I'm gonna be honest, David never sold me a dream, he was just always real about the situation and what we can work on. And he ends up, he's a very positive brother. Uh, so, you know, I just appreciate his energy and I appreciate um, other people that was a lot older than me that had a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and connection in a uh, country like Ghana. And we just literally just build the program little by little by just taking our tour of what's going around the country and just uh, networking, uh, meeting other people who have made the move, uh, repatriated uh, from the Americas and then settled there in Ghana. So you know, now you're physically in the energy to where you're studying the movement and you're actually seeing people are doing it. And even tomorrow we visit our brother Jerry Johnson, you know, and we'll go to one Africa. These are all people that are part of that original energy that I met, whether it's here in Ghana or in America, to build this program. And from there, you know, we'll transform the program and build it in another country. But since we're uh, still focusing on Ghana, I want to say all together, me and David have done about 30 of these uh, conferences uh, slash business networking. And our goal is always to connect our people together to where we since we're in Africa, and then since some people are actually making a move to live in Africa, now we can say, you know what, let's put our minds together, our energy together, let's look out for each other, let's make sure that we don't have the haters getting our way, you know, whether it's the haters in America or the haters in Africa. You know, you, you know wherever you go, you're gonna have that opposition. So together, I'm you know, always telling us that we're stronger, and this is a good connection, because you know, we're looked out for each other over and over, and you know, if I call David and say, David, you know, can, I need your help to, to take care of something, that may call me in America and say, Oman, I need to go, go somewhere in Georgia and handle some business for me. And we just look out for each other and we just make it work. And that's the kind of organic uh, network and partnership that we're looking to build. And that's the energy of our Africa for the Africans program to where we have learned from this program that we have built as far as, you know, we have different representation of investment, business, and repatriation and networking. 
uh, people were the, they're from the Lands Commission, whether they're attorneys, and they're, they're, they're talking about certain things, how to live, do business, and go about certain things in Africa. Uh, the program has helped a lot of people because there's a lot of information that is going to be shared. It's just things you're just not going to know unless uh, it's been presented or unless you're in a network. So that's what we have built uh, little by little. And uh, we just tell anyone that if they're looking to make these moves, uh, that's why we offer a consultation, that's why we offer certain things because uh, based on that long 17 years of experience, you know, we, you know, we've been through many different things to where we can give people the best advice to make the move and be successful here. And the only thing I'm always telling us, once we get here, don't try to run away from your own brothers and sisters from the dads and say, hey, I'm coming to Africa to be a Ghanaian. And, you know, and, you know you're, you're, you're coming to Africa to be a Ghanaian, but also, and you come to Africa to connect with your brothers and sisters, but don't forget about your brothers and sisters that's been in that same struggle with you in the Americas, whether it's been in Jamaica, uh, America, Canada, you know, Mexico, wherever in the, in, the, in the Americas. So that's our program family, Africa for the Africans, and uh, we just advise and recommend us to just keep putting that energy together and keep supporting black-owned business, black-owned networks, and then just you know, work together, connect together, and solve our own problems because at the end of the day, all we have is us because other nations, races of people, whether they're the Chinese, the Indians, the Lebanese, you see how they operate. They, you know, they just feel like it's their time for world power, world domination, and they're, they're coming strong. So uh, we just need to get prepared, get our children prepared, get our, you know, our crew, our network, our friends, our family, and now uh, we can pull it off. So that's one of the positive energy you're gonna get from us that uh, we believe that we can achieve every, anything because we're the survivors of uh, any any atrocities that happen to our people. We're the ones that's here as far as surviving. Any brainwashing to tell us not to come to Africa, you know? We, we know we have passed through that and uh, made it to where you know, we're telling our own stories. So family, uh, I'm gonna pass it over back to our panel. And once again, panel, this is Bomani Tama from Africa for Africans. Uh, Telling you to keep the energy of our ancestors strong and just keep on building on a great legacy. Whether it's our ancestors from the Americas who built Liberia, or our, the energy of the, the energy of Marcus Garber, the Universal Negro Improvement Association, and African Community Leagues. Uh, so it's just this is our century, the 21st century, to build what we need to build and build our legacy and put ourselves in history and make our children and make our ancestors proud. Great.